Rahim assalamu alaikum today i will tell you that there what are the four rules for writing a creative research paper so just consider a situation that uh, you give your manuscript first research paper draft as ms student or phd student to, you, to your supervisor and you wait for weeks and whenever you ask your supervisor he have some excuses and at the same time if you submit a research paper to a journal and uh, you straight away get a desk reje rejection that the language of your paper is not appropriate so i will tell you that what are the four mistakes major mistakes which usually we do not follow that affects the language quality of our research paper and if you follow them you will improve the quality of your uh, research paper to a higher extent and uh, the likelihood for the acceptance of your paper will increase to a next level so what are those four four rules the first one the first one is that uh, always limit your sentence length to 15 words i have put this 15 plus minus but i would suggest that your sentence should not exceed 15 words at all so when you will apply this rule to your any uh, prepared manuscript you can see that the clarity and the meaning and the and uh, the simplicity of your text will increase a lot so how you can do that the first thing is always apply this kiss principle and it says that uh, keep your text short and simple and uh, you can do that by removing all unnecessary words and phrases and some examples are for example we usually write down such things in spite of the fact but we can conclude it in only one word that is although at the same time we use promising we use promising uh, rather than we say that very promising promising is promising there is nothing like very promising and the next thing is in in some sentences we use lot of this a of the such type of things so they are unnecessary so the first rule is you have to limit your sentence length to up to 15 words and for that remove all unnecessary words and phrases there are words which can replace your uh, wordy phrases and it will make your text very handy very simple and quite readable and attractive rule 2 use correct tenses we see that uh, this usually the students they do not use the correct tenses at all and for that you need to use the present tense in case of uh, if you are writing down your introduction if you are talking about figures and tables like table 1 present the data about this one figure 1 present the data about that aspect then a result interpretation i'm not talking about the results in general the reporting of the results because that will be passed but if you are interpreting your results that why it happened then you will talk about in present tense and the final thing is your discussion and all established rules and facts they will always be presented in present tense the next comes past tense when you talk about abstract it is past that we focused on this problem and this way we solved this problem and these were our results everything will be in past materials and method because it is a past story that uh, the experiment was done so was so it is again past the results only the results that uh, when we increase the ph the results like the like the selectivity of the product increased at the same rate so the results materials and methods and your abstract all of them will be presented in the past the final thing is future when you talk about future implications because at the end of your result and discussion section you will talk about that okay what will be the implications of your research that how it can be applied to the next world so those future implications will be presented in future tense rule 3 always use appropriate verb i have seen and i have reviewed several research papers and review papers and i have seriously observe that the people especially the students ms students and phd who are submitting their first research paper they avoid verb i don't know why so verb actually gives the strength to your sentence and actually it clarifies what you want to say i can give you some example for example we say that temperature is believed 
to be the case for high reaction rate. So this is just one example. And you, you can see that we have like used uh, not the backbone verb, rather we have converted it into passive wise and then we are not finding our balance. So you can solve it like the temperature causes high reaction rate. So here causes actually the, your verb and if you look at the sentence it is the same sentence but the clarity when you applied the right verb at the right position is very clear so it is now understandable for everyone that what you want to say in other case your sentence length your word count is too high but the understanding the clarity is not that high so the third rule is always use appropriate verb the fourth rule Preferably use active voice. I have seen that people they use passive voice too frequent, but it is of no use. So I advise you that whenever possible use active voice. Uh, maybe when you are talking about materials and methods, you can use little bit passive voice, but otherwise in all the sections of your research paper, prefer to use active voice. And what will happen? So this is an example. This fact has been explained by the results that rate of reaction was increased by the temperature. Everything is in passive voice. But when you convert it to, into active voice, results reveal that elevated temperature increases reaction rate. Too simple, too understandable. So these are actually four rules. If you apply to any of your ready to submit manuscript, I think that um, the language quality of your manuscript will be improved to a higher extent and ultimately the chances of acceptance if your paper is being rejected just because of the language I can I think that you can reduce it so my final words that always remember LTVA principles that means length of the sentence should not be more than 15 word use the correct tense use the appropriate verb and always prefer active voice. It will clarify your uh, language of your manuscript to a high level and you will feel the real difference between your first manuscript and your final manuscript. My final words are always a survival for the fittest and luck favors prepared minds. So persistent is more important than intelligence and learn from experience of others rather than you experience yourself. Thank you very much. If you like this video, give us feedback and comments and apply these rules to your manuscript, to your synopsis, to your review paper, to your thesis. And finally, if you like, just subscribe our channel for further videos. Thank you very much.